Many household appliances can be repaired with a simple part that costs under a dollar. Hi, I'm Peter Mui, founder of Fix-It Clinic, a community repair workshop where we teach people how to disassemble, troubleshoot, and repair their broken consumer electronics and household appliances. We provide Fix-It coaches and tools to help guide you through your disassembly and repair process. But even if the item isn't fixed, there's lots to learn in taking it apart and understanding why it stopped working. A thermal fuse is an electrical safety component placed in lots of appliances. If the appliance overheats, the thermal fuse fails, cutting off electricity through the circuit. Thermal fuses are found in a huge selection of devices, pretty much any device that heats stuff up. You can also find them in motorized devices like blenders, coffee grinders, and food processors. So, why do thermal fuses fail? With hair dryers, we've seen lint and hair clog up the intake, cause the internal temperature of the hair dryer to rise and exceed the rating of the thermal fuse inside. But often, it goes bad for no good reason whatsoever. So, how can you tell if your thermal fuse is blown? Well, the most common symptom is that your device that's supposed to make things hot doesn't. You might also find that your device won't even turn on at all. However, if this is the case, save yourself some work by confirming that your device's plug and power cord are good before you start tearing into it. Once you've figured out that you might have a faulty thermal fuse, you can confirm it's bad by testing its continuity with a multimeter. If the thermal fuse has failed, the multimeter won't beep. If you determine that you do need a new thermal fuse, there are a couple of things to know. First, they're probably not available at your local hardware store, but they are readily available and easily obtainable through eBay. It just may take a little while to get it from overseas. Second, the thermal fuse will have printing on it indicating its temperature rating in centigrade. So make sure you get a replacement thermal fuse of the same rating or as close to that rating as you can get. To replace a thermal fuse, you first move the insulation sleeve out of the way, making sure to save it to put around the new thermal fuse. Cut the thermal fuse out of the circuit close to the component, making sure to save the wires. You can often use the wires to just wrap around the new thermal fuse, so you don't even have to do any soldering. Replace the thermal fuse, recover with the insulation sleeve if there was one, and reassemble the device. We hope this thermal fuse fix can help you keep your item in service for many years to come. If you tried this repair, whether you were successful or not, please tell us about your experience by clicking on the link in the description below. And we hope to see your smiling face at an upcoming Fix-It Clinic.